Here is the Hilti J-Bot. This is a pretty cool little piece of machinery here. It I, almost autonomously operates uh, drilling holes, um, you know, very accurately with software and laser accuracy. Okay, so we're gonna go over some of the features. Let's check out the video right here that shows the J-Bot in action and go from there let's skip ahead there's some tools that it was hinting that it will attach to which we'll get into in a minute the hilti exoskeleton right there but that's not what this video is about come on guys let's get into it let's get into it where i guess i gotta skip ahead anyways so you understand hilti has been developing software for a long time now they have the profis software they're also going to be integrating all these sensors into into it with their software. Okay, they they have concrete sensors. They're going to be they have all these different things for monitoring, fastening torques, and things like that. Right? Um, the Hilti ha is at the edge of this technology. Okay. So I thought that the new tool is going to be a walk behind concrete saw, but man, was I ever wrong. I never would have thought they were building a robot. So check out this thing here in action. Right? Um, if you could imagine leaving a robot to core holes or drill holes all night long, right? And coming in the morning and having all the holes drilled for you and whatnot, that's pretty fantastic. From, from what I can tell, you need to have a human operator with the J-Bot, which is a little bit of a downside in my opinion, because it would be nice to leave it, like I said, overnight without any supervision. But we'll see, there's no footage on this thing at all. There's barely any information available on it whatsoever. So right now we're gonna break down the components that are in the package and try to kind of guess and gauge what the price may be. I'm gonna guess around 70 to $80,000 is what this will cost, okay? It might even be like a lease, a lease program where you lease the robot and get maintenance from Hilti on um, like a yearly subscription type thing, all right? Being able to trade in the equipment when the new models come out. Right, I could see that being a thing that's probably, that's kind of where everything is going these days, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's it. But to buy a unit outright, I'm gonna guess around 70 to $80,000. Let's see here. So safer work, increased speed and accuracy, those, are, those, those things kind of are given with robots, right? Um, fewer errors, and this is kind of where it gets interesting, because right away my, um, my concern with the J-Bot is how could it be accurate, all right? If it's operating off of the, just the digital prints, the the at, like the way we build things, the actual as-built structures in, on site are not the same as the digital print. So is this thing going to be able to like to kind of have that augmented reality part of it where it can it can um, assess the differences and or, or, or you know take the digital plans and the as built scan what is existing and kind of gauge where is the right spot i don't know but that's going to be something really really cool to 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 see how this unrolls now profits in uh software is amazing with fire stop and fasteners and all this crazy stuff it's total bim software and it's just going to develop even further and further further profits is amazing so teamed up with this laser here this is the the pl t300 this laser comes with the robot and this is a layout a layout laser okay so you can connect this machine with the profit software the bim software uh and there's a tablet that's i'm going to show you next and this will tell the robot where to drill the robot itself has has a gps locator and it will communicate with the laser and and and, and and software sorry right so the the software will communicate with the with the laser and the laser will communicate with the software and the software will communicate with the robot it's really cool stuff guys all right um i don't know if there's a video on here but you can see the the tablet right there okay so first of all um oh the price tag of the laser itself is twenty three thousand one hundred and sixty nine dollars okay and then you go to the tablet and it is seven thousand one hundred and thirty eight dollars okay i don't know what i don't have a lot of details on this tablet maybe there'll be something in this video i don't know but let's check it out really really quick no leveling required yeah it's self-leveling um auto stationing right okay so it looks like it, it it's going to connect with the profit software really well and, and i i'm hoping that it's actually going to scan what is existing and, and tell you you know because that's the thing right like building an actual physical digital twin oh yeah there you go see there you go so data preparation it is calibrating on site so it will use existing site measurements and calibrate that accordingly to the plans and and adjust right to what is built on site 
these layout tools are amazing, man. These layout tools are amazing. So you can see how the laser and the GPS and the tablet works all, all together with your smartphones, tablets, whatever, right? Now, talking about tools, okay? So the TE60, I don't know. If I, it, there's a, there is a TE60 uh, or TE something that's used for drilling holes. But I also saw hints of a TE1000 being able to be attached to this, which is a breaker, okay? So if you could have a robotic breaker, that is amazing because you could break the proper depth and all that. The software and the lasers is gonna be, is gonna make, you know, pinpoint accuracy. It's gonna be amazing, guys. So think about that. The robot having like drill, like being able to drill all the holes. I would like to see it drill holes overnight so that when the crew shows up in the morning, you got lots of work to go. But if you really think about it, the robot could just go simply ahead and, you know, produce, produce Produce a lot more holes for the rods and things like that, right? To for the fasteners and you know for electrical conduit and plumbing and all that stuff, right? Sprinklers and stuff. Anyways, it's amazing to think about where this is going to go, right? And here's the software, the Profis software. Uh, you have um, Profis Detection Office, Profis Layout Office, and then you have plugin for AutoCAD and Revit. So the software is quite involved. The system's amazing. This robot is going to be full of production. It's going to, this, this robot is going to be a beast for production. And I'm really excited. And of course, Hilti is the first to, it, to come out with an interior robot. The JBot does have a storage compartment where all the laser, uh, the laser and all the other equipment will be stored inside the JBot. It's a track system, so it's going to be hard to maneuver that from floor to floor. You're going to have to have a lift or a crane to get it from floor to floor because it's not going to be going up any stairs soon, right? So that that's the one thing that is maybe a little bit of a downside, but it does have a box, like a container box that it does go in. So I assume you drive the robot in, seal it, secure it, and then you can crane it up to air any floor, right? Multiple floor, like multi-story buildings have tower cranes, they have man lifts. So there is, it is, shouldn't be that much of an issue to move this machine, right? Super cool. I'm super proud of Hilti and I love Hilti so much. I just can't wait to see where this goes and see what tools it can, it, it, you can attach to it, right? I want to see it coring holes, right? To be able to core holes, Coring holes has to be the worst job on site, right? For it's just so boring and monotonous and just like, guy, I've seen guys fall asleep on their machines. It's awful, right? So if this thing could handle the water and the and all that, right? Um, this would be an amazing, amazing, amazing machine. Let's see it coring holes and breaking, and then I'll be sold. Remember, if you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comments because I get back to everybody. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell notification button because I go live five days a week and upload weekly. So you don't want to miss out on all the action here on Construction Cronies. Stay tuned, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.